Welcome to Dave's Daily Crypto Take. Today is Tuesday, October 19th, 2021. Let's take a look at today's charts. At number one, we got BTC at $61,833.35, down 0.41%. Ethereum number two, $3,789.35, down 2.07%. Binance Coin number three, $485.76, up 2.82%. Cardano at number four, $2.13, down 1.15%. Tether at number five, 99 cents. XRP number six, $1.09, down 0.86%. Number seven, Solana, $157.18, down 3.08%. At number eight, Polkadot, $40.94, down 4.28%. Number nine, USD coin, 99 cents. And last but not least, number 10, Dogecoin, 24 cents, up 2.58%. Take a look at the crypto fear and greed index. Uh, extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried. That could be a buying opportunity. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. And today we got greed at 75. Yesterday was extreme greed at 78. Last week was extreme greed at 78. And last month was neutral at 53. So let's take a look at our five articles today. Article number one is... Here comes the Bitcoin ETF winners take victory lap. Article number two, Guggenheim's Minard predicted Bitcoin at 15K and 400K. Now he's out entirely. Article three, eight best cryptocurrencies to invest in for 2021. Article four, Bitcoin or Ethereum, which asset leads the race right now? And last but not least, our main topic today is Bitcoin is hitting the New York Stock Exchange tomorrow. 2021 will be remembered for this milestone. So before we get into the articles, just want to say welcome to Dave's Daily Crypto Take. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your precious day to listen into the podcast or watch the YouTube video. Again, on the podcast realm, you can catch me on Apple, Spotify, or Google Podcasts. Leave a review and a rating. It does help me out. And if you're in the YouTube space, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It does help the algorithm and helps me out greatly. So again, thank you so much for all your support. Let's get into it. Article number one is, here comes the Bitcoin ETF. Winners take victory lap. Still north of the 60,000 level mark, Bitcoin trends to the upside fuel by the launch of the first exchange traded fund in the United States. The firms that filed their ETF prospectus are celebrating with pro shares at the Vanguard. The investment firm introduced its prospectus this summer. The firm has $53,705 billion in assets under management and has persisted along with others such as Valkyrie, Galaxy, Invesco throughout the years on the Bitcoin ETF petition to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Without opposition from this country's securities regulator, the Bitcoin ETF ProShares is expected to begin trading tomorrow, October 19th, 2021. Under the Bido ticker and the Bido.iv intraday ticker, Bloomberg Intelligence Senior ETF expert Eric Balanchunas reported rumors on the firm taking a victory lap on the New York Stock Exchange floor. ProShare CEO beginning his victory lap in NYT today calls Bito a milestone. NYSE's head of ETFs calls it an exciting step. Rumor has ProShares ringing opening bell at NYSE tomorrow too. As to why NYT insists on calling them ETFs, I can't answer that one. So here comes the Bitcoin ETFs. Bitcoin has been on a tear in recent weeks, approaching record high of prices above $60,000 as crypto enthusiasts anticipate history in the making. Tomorrow morning, ProShares will launch a long-awaiting exchange-traded fund on the New York Stock Exchange linked to Bitcoin futures. The firm and exchange told DealBook the ETF will give investors exposure to Bitcoin without having to hold the cryptocurrency directly via an, an ordinary brokerage account. 2021 will be remembered for this milestone. 
San Michael Saper, the CEO of ProShares. Investors who are curious about crypto but hesitant to engage with unregulated crypto exchanges want convenient access to Bitcoin in a wrapper that has market integrity, he said. For nearly a decade, crypto entrepreneurs and traditional finance firms have sought permission to launch a Bitcoin ETF in the U.S., but their applications have been delayed or denied by the SEC. Many remain pending. As the expert mentioned, the New York Times published an article on the launch of the Bitcoin ETF and ProShare celebration. The CEO of this investment firm, Michael Saper, told the mainstream media that their product will provide convenient access to Bitcoin with market integrity to new and veteran investors. The Bitcoin ETF, approved by the U.S. SEC, will track Chicago Mercantile Exchange, CME futures contracts. The regulator's chair, Gary Gensler, believes that this type of product offers U.S. investors more protection rather than a BTC ETF based in the spot market. Some expert claims that the big players in Wall Street will take advantage of the potential contango and subsequent premium in the Bitcoin future CME contracts, thus pricing out the little guy from making a profit. Others argued the opposite, but almost everyone seems to agree on the importance of the event. So the Bitcoin ETF effect, a flop or a success? As Balichunas uh, highlighted on the Bitcoin ETF launch has been one of the crypto industry's holy grails with the race to receive approval going back as far as 2013. At the moment, Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss, founders of the crypto exchange Gemini, filed the first petition for this product and ranked number five in Mad Magazine's 20 Dumbest Things of 2013. Eric Bluchanis said the Winklevoss Bitcoin ETF idea was number five on the Mad Magazine's 20 Dumbest Things of 2013, and here we can take a look at the magazine. ProShares will take the first bite of a product that some claimed was never going to launch in the U.S., but could soon be accompanied by Valkyrie, Galaxy, and others. Balichunas also mentioned the potential success of the products as Bitcoin continues to trend to the upside in the coming months and more capital is attracted to the crypto market, the experts said. At the time of writing, BTC trades at $61,111 with sideways movement in the daily chart. So what do you guys think about this article? Here comes the Bitcoin ETF winners take victory lap. Comment down below and let me know if you think this is a good idea or a bad idea. Let's take a look at Article 2. Guggenheim's Minard predicted Bitcoin at 15K and 400K. Now he's out entirely. Guggenheim's CIO and he's out of Bitcoin as he can't understand what's happening with the cryptocurrency markets. Scott Minard, chief investment officer of Guggenheim Investment, said he's no longer invested in Bitcoin after he predicted earlier this year that the cryptocurrency could hit $600,000. So, number one, the one thing I learned as a bond trader years ago, when you don't understand what's happening, get out of the market. Minard said in an interview on CNBC with, from the Milken Conference in Los Angeles. So discipline tells me now I don't fully understand this. He pointed out how if someone had invested in $1,000 in the Shiba Inu meme token in February, they would have made $2.1 million today. In February, Minari predicted that Bitcoin could hit $600,000 after saying in December that Bitcoin could reach $400,000. In late June, when Bitcoin was floating around $30,000, Minari predicted that Bitcoin could fall to around $15,000 at its lowest point. Bitcoin today is trading over $63,000 and has climbed more than 40% this month. We were long going into that. We sold. It pulled back to where I thought it was. And really, after looking at it, thought, you know, we probably got and go lower. Menard said, well, we didn't. So we're not in. In November, shortly before Menard's first bullish price prediction, Guggenheim filed an amendment with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to be able to invest up to almost $500 million in Bitcoin through the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, which is a unit of digital currency group Coindesk parent company. So what do you guys think about Guggenheim's Menard predicted Bitcoin at 15K 
and 400K, but now he's out entirely. Guggenheim CIO said he's out of Bitcoin as he can't understand what's happening with the cryptocurrency markets. Comment down below. Let me know if you don't understand the markets or if you totally understand Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. All right, let's take a look at article number three. Eight best cryptocurrencies to invest in for 2021. Cryptocurrency is digital money that isn't managed by a central system like a government. Instead, it's based on blockchain technology, with Bitcoin being the most popular one. As digital money continues to gain traction on Wall Street, more and more options become available. There are currently more than 5,000 cryptocurrencies on the market. While you can use cryptocurrency to make purchases, most people treat it as a long-term investment. However, volatility makes investing in cryptocurrency risky. So it's important to know what you're getting into before you buy in. These are the top eight cryptocurrencies that are most worthy of investment in 2021. Number one is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Coin, Cardano, XRP, Dogecoin, Polkadot, and Chainlink. So let's take a look. Number one, BTC. Bitcoin has been around for the longest of any cryptocurrency. It's easy to see why it's the leader with a price, market cap, and volume that's much higher than any other investment options. Even with thousands of other cryptocurrencies on the market, Bitcoin still represents over 43% of the cryptocurrency market cap. Many businesses already accept Bitcoin as payment, which makes this cryptocurrency a smart investment. Visa, for example, transacts with Bitcoin. Additionally, Tesla announced in February that it has invested $1.5 billion in it. And for a time, the company accepted it as payment for its cars. And it soon might again. Plus, the larger banks are beginning to incorporate Bitcoin transactions into their offerings too. The risks of investing in Bitcoin. The value of Bitcoin tends to fluctuate a lot. You may see the price go up or down thousands of dollars during any month. If wild fluctuations like these make you nervous, you may want to avoid Bitcoin. Otherwise, as long as you keep it in mind, the cryptocurrency could be a smart long-term investment. These fluctuations shouldn't be too concerning. Another reason to consider investing in Bitcoin is its price. With a single Bitcoin costing more than $51,000, most people can't afford to buy whole Bitcoins. For investors who want to avoid buying a fraction of a Bitcoin, this is a negative. Number two, Ethereum. Ethereum is different from Bitcoin because it's only uh, not only a cryptocurrency, it's also a network that allows developers to create their own cryptocurrency utilizing the Ethereum network. While Ethereum is far behind Bitcoin in value, it's also far ahead of the other competitors. So even though it came out years after some other cryptocurrencies, it has far exceeded its place in the market because of its unique technology. Risks of investing in Ethereum. While Ethereum utilizes blockchain technology, it only has one lane for conducting transactions. This can lead to transactions taking longer to process when the network is overloaded. In 2016, a hack that took advantage of a security flaw led to the loss of more than $50 million worth of Ether. Number three, Binance Coin. Binance Coin is one of the few cryptocurrencies to reach its peak after 2017. During that year, there was a bull market and the price of all cryptocurrencies rose on it, reaching a peak before plateauing and decreasing in value. Unlike other cryptocurrencies, Binance Coin continued a slow but consistent trend upward after 2017. Because of its performance, Binance Coin has proven to be one of the more stable investment options posing fewer risks. So what's the risk of investing in Binance Coin? What sets Binance Coin apart from its competitors is that it was created by a company instead of a group of tech developers. Although Binance Coin's commitment to maintaining a strong blockchain has won over many skeptics, some investors remain leery of this cryptocurrency and its potential security issues. Number four, Cardano. The Cardano network has a smaller footprint, which is appealing to investors for several reasons. It takes less energy to complete a transaction with Cardano than with a larger network like Bitcoin. 
This means transactions are faster and cheaper. It claims to be more adaptable and more secure. Cardano consistently improves its development to stay ahead of hackers. Risks of investing in Cardano. Even with a better network, Cardano may not be able to compete with larger cryptocurrencies. Fewer adopters mean fewer developers. This isn't appealing to most investors who want to see a high adoption rate. The platform has big plans, but there are doubts about whether it can live up to that potential. Advice, don't be discouraged by fluctuations in the market. Your investment may lose money one day and make profit the next. Instead of getting caught up in the day-to-day changes, look at the big picture. Number five. XRP. XRP was created by founders of the digital payment processing company Ripple. It serves as a crypto PayPal of sorts, allowing exchanges both between crypto and fiat currencies. Ripple is investing heavily in non-fungible token projects that use XRP Ledger, which is a public blockchain. This investment suggests Ripple is positioning itself as another Ethereum killer, according to Inside Bitcoins. Risks of investing in RXRP. In December 2020, the Securities and Exchange Commission filed a lawsuit against Ripple and two of its executives, alleging that they violated registration provisions of the Securities Act of 1933 by raising over $1 billion through an unregistered digital asset securities offering. The implication that XRP is a security not a currency could have consequences not just for XRP but for other cryptos as well. Number six, Dogecoin. Dogecoin started as a fastidious meme featuring a Shiba Inu dog, but it's no joke these days. Elon Musk and Mark Cuban are investors, with Musk calling Dogecoin one of the three meaningful assets he owns besides his company, Fox Business reported. Risks of investing in Dogecoin. Dogecoin prices have proven highly vulnerable to hype, good and bad. For example, the coin tanked during Musk's May appearance on Saturday Night Live when he called it a hustle. And unlike Bitcoin's finite supply, there's no limit to how much Dogecoin can be mined. Number seven, Polkadot. Polkadot was created by Ethereum leaders who broke away to form their own cryptocurrency with a better network. Instead of having a single lane to complete transactions in, Polkadot has several. This cryptocurrency was designed to reward genuine investors and weed out people who are just trading to make money fast. Investors who are engaged in a platform also help to make decisions on things like network fees, network upgrades, establishing or removing parachains. Risks of investing in Polkadot. Polkadot's founder, Gavin Wood, first introduced the cryptocurrency via a white paper in 2016. Its launch took place in 2020. With such a short history, Polkadot doesn't have a track record for comparison, making it a riskier investment for potential buyers. And number eight, Chainlink. Chainlink is appealing to investors for several reasons, including its affordable price. It has also proven it can increase in value and there is still a lot of room for growth. Chainlink is also available for trading on Coinbase, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency platforms. Being more accessible also makes Chainlink appealing to investors. The risks of investing in Chainlink, while it's still above thousands of other cryptocurrencies, it has a lower volume and market cap type has more appealing cryptocurrencies. What's the advice? Don't settle on any number of cryptocurrency investments without continuing to learn about the market. A new cryptocurrency network could easily climb the ranks and emerge as a leader above other platforms. As an investor, the smartest thing you can do is to stay abreast of market happenings. So rating the top cryptocurrency choices, run a quick online search and you'll find dozens of recommendations for how to invest in cryptocurrency. In choosing the top eight picks, the following factors were considered. Number one, longevity. How long has a cryptocurrency been around? New cryptocurrencies aren't immediately ruled out, but having historical data for comparison helps you see how a company has performed up until now. Number two, track record. How has the company performed during its years in business? If you see a stability in prices, that's a good sign. 
If you notice that the cryptocurrency is gaining traction and becoming more valuable with time, that's even better. What's good to know? Past performance is not indicative of future performance. At any time, things can change. An investment may perform better or worse than it has in the past. Three, technology. How does a platform compare to others in terms of usability and security? The first thing you want to look for is the speed at which transactions occur. The network should be able to handle transaction traffic with ease. You also want to make sure your investment is secure. Most cryptocurrencies use blockchain technology, making all transactions transparent and easy to track. Blockchain technology doesn't necessarily make it harder for hackers to steal your cryptocurrency. It does make it easier to track your investment so it can be recovered instead of being lost following fraud. Four, adoption rate. How many people are investing in the cryptocurrency you're considering? When you see a high level of adoption, that means the cryptocurrency has better liquidity. Trading, selling, or spending will be easier in the future. And last five, final take. There's no question about it. Cryptocurrencies are here to stay. The question becomes, where is the best place to invest your money in the market? As you decide which cryptocurrency is the best investment for you, here are some other things to keep in mind. One, the speed at which transactions are completed. Two, the fees associated with transacting. And three, the ability to use a cryptocurrency for regular purchases and bank transfers. If you're strictly looking to invest without transacting within the network, remember that cryptocurrency isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. Instead, you should consider it a long-term investment. So there you guys have it. This was a really good article, eight best cryptocurrencies to invest in for 2021. Comment down below and let me know if you agree with all eight or if you only agree with some. All right. Let's take a short break just to say thank you to everyone that's been subscribed and also listening to the podcast and watching the YouTube. Uh, if you're on Podcast Realm, Apple, Spotify, and Google is your friend. And if you're in YouTube space, please like, share, and subscribe to Dave's Daily Crypto Take. It does help me out greatly. And again, I appreciate all the help. Thank you. Let's get back into it. So article number four is Bitcoin or Ethereum, which asset leads the race right now? While random altcoins may perform, uh, outperform Bitcoin and Ethereum momentarily in the market, the top two digital assets are miles ahead when it comes to market valuation. Sitting at a market cap of $1.14 trillion and $460 billion, respectively, BTC and ETH influence high market liquidity and certain assets are influenced by their movement. Over the course of 2021, both Bitcoin and Ethereum have dominated bullish proceedings during their rallies and at press time at a similar situation was unfolding. With one of the assets asserting supremacy in the chart again, we analyzed which digital token exhibited higher investment potential in the short-term rally. Bitcoin versus Ethereum, the Q4 battle royale. At press time, Bitcoin was leading the October charts with a growth of 38.5% in comparison to Ethereum's 29.88% hike. While both the assets have managed to maintain a position above their MAs, the momentum might be rightfully on Bitcoin's side. As per the SKU chart, Ethereum Bitcoin's one-month and three-month realized vol volatility speed has dropped down to yearly low levels which indicates that Bitcoin has a higher chance of moving faster through the charts. When the implied volatility is compared, a similar picture unfolds. Ethereum Bitcoin 1M at the moment, implied volatility spread indicates that traders expect BTC to exhibit higher volatility over the course of the next few days as 1V drops to yearly low levels. Now, historically, a lower RV and IV value for Ethereum with respect to Bitcoin has led to a strong performance for the King coin. The present market structure also commits towards the point where Ethereum is still facing resistance from a high established back in September 2021, but BTC is close to its all-time high range from May. Therefore, in the short term, 
investing in Bitcoin might be more lucrative than Ethereum. Yet, Ethereum has a quarter edge. Over the course of 2021, Ethereum has outperformed Bitcoin in every quarter. Even during the bearish Q2 rally, Bitcoin dropped its value by 40%, whereas surprisingly, Ethereum ended its quarter on an 18% hike. So while the short-term momentum supports BTC to hike in the charts, in the long term, Ether has had a better ROI in 2021. So what do you guys think about this Bitcoin or Ethereum? Which asset leads the race right now? Comment down below and let me know what you think. One for Bitcoin or one for Ethereum? All right, let's take a look at our last topic for today. It's the main topic. It is called Bitcoin is hitting the New York Stock Exchange tomorrow. 2021 will be remembered for this milestone. So Bitcoin boom and what might be one of the most significant steps that cryptocurrency has taken toward the mainstream during its decade-long history, the New York Stock Exchange is expected to start allowing traders to bet on Bitcoin. 2021 will be remembered for this milestone. Michael Saper, the CEO of ProShares, will be the running the fund, told the New York Times. He also took a dig at less regulated crypto exchanges, telling the newspaper that investors want convenient access to Bitcoin in a wrapper that has market integrity. So what's the fine print? The fund won't let anyone trade Bitcoin directly but it will provide a mechanism to bet the digital currency's futures, meaning it will let investors essentially bet on what Bitcoin is going to do. That's a step toward mainstream adoption and one with fairly solid support from federal regulators. But per the NYT, crypto diehards are still holding out for a way to trade blockchain assets directly on the fabled New York Stock Exchange. What's the price spike? There is a certain irony in Bitcoin, the early ideology of which was closely linked to providing a way to move money around without the big financial institutions connected to the 2008 financial collapse, become increasingly intertwined with some same institutions. But that doesn't mean much when investors have dollar signs in their eyes. In fact, Bitcoin's looming debut may on the stock exchange may explain its spiking price in recent weeks. What happens next, though, is anyone's guess. So what do you guys think about Bitcoin hitting the New York Stock Exchange tomorrow? 2021 will be remembered for this milestone. Comment down below and let me know if you think this is a true milestone or if you think it's just a blip in the radar. All right, let's take a look at the prices one last time before we head out. BTC is $61,833. Ethereum, $3,789. Binance Coin, $485. Cardano, $2.13. Tether, $0.99. Cents. XRP, $1.09. Solana, $157. Polkadot, $40. USD Coin, $0.99. Cents. And last but not least, Dogecoin at $0.24. Cents. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much for making it this far into the podcast and YouTube video. Again, this is Dave's Daily Crypto Take. Catch me on Apple, Spotify, or Google Podcasts. And if you're in YouTube space, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you, all of you have a great crypto day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.